Hello, it's Greg here. Today I am unboxing the Dualtron Thunder. Uh, very excited to be unboxing this, and I am also accompanied by a special guest, Sylvie. Say hello, Sylvie. So she's going to help me unbox this. Um, yeah, really excited to be opening this today. Um, before I start looking at opening this, I want to give a huge thanks to the e-scooter company for all their assistance choosing the scooter and providing such fast delivery. Um, come really fast. Um, by the time I place the order, it was here within the next day. Um, so I can't recommend them enough. Check them out and I'll provide the link in the description. Um, and also, if anyone even takes your fancy on their website, the eSchool company's website, you can put in the code GREG2, which is all uppercase, G-R-E-G-2, and you can get some money off. And I'll put that in the description also. So here we have this ginormous box holding the Dualtron Thunder. Okay, I'm going to show you the side as well. I can't just spin this box round easily to show you the sides because it is at one heavy box. Just show you what's on the sides. Sylvie, you ready to open this? I think she's ready. Okay, right, so I've got my knife. Let's start getting into this. Very well packaged box inside, I bet. I bet you there's a heck of a lot of polystyrene. Which will be fun to get rid of, because you know what it's like getting rid of polystyrene, it's a nightmare. Right, so, getting excited already. Let's open this up. Okay, so, we are in. Okay, so, we're in. So, let's start taking a look. So, we have got a plug, which I'm gonna assume is for our Charging system. We have ah, so this must be uh, what I also asked for from the e-scooter company. Um, they were selling this additional, this this new clamping system, basically that that you put on instead of the original clamping system on your stem, um, and it's supposed to basically give you no movement in the handlebars whatsoever um, at that folding position. So this makes it absolutely solid. Um, this this is a heavy piece of kit. Like this is this is solid. Uh, so yeah, I can't wait to put that on and see what it's like because that is a solid piece of kit. You can see you've got two mechanisms here for latching that down. I think what they recommend with it is you put one south, one north, either way. Um, so yeah, that's cool. So let's put that to one side. So we've got our manual, which I'll take a look at later. We've got. Oh, that's our um, that's our hook for when you fold down the handlebars. You have to attach on yourself, so when the handlebars fold down to the back, it stays nice and tight and firm, doesn't flip up. This looks like it's probably going to be the power pack. Yep. So we got our power pack there. So this is um this is the standard power pack that comes with it. I've also got another one on the way on the on Monday, which allows you to plug in basically two standard chargers because this allows you to plug in two standard chargers and you can also plug in if you want separately a fast charger or a fast charger and one standard one standard charger uh, so we'll talk a bit more about that later about the specifications on this and what else have we got we have got a tool cool so we've got a all the tools you hopefully need for this to maintain it who knows what that bit is in there. We'll have a look at that later. Okay, we also have, oh, awesome, the controller. So we have the controller here, which is to control all your lighting on the scooter, um, which I'll show you a bit more later. That is a lot of buttons. So um, I look forward to seeing what that does later. Okay, so one thing I did miss, which is in this compartment here, was these four rubber covers basically and i believe they go over the nut that's on each side of the suspension areas i believe that's what they're for so we've got four of those as well so i'm going to put them on the sides and uh, we'll have a look at those later and we've got the scooter hidden away in there um so i'm going to start getting this polystyrene out polystyrene is a nightmare i hate polystyrene i mean at least it keeps it protected in transit and that but getting rid of polystyrene is messy right so Wow, that is a heavy folding bar. That, that is awesome. <laughs> so 
there we go so you've got the folding handlebars on there again i'm going to get this out for now and we're going to talk more about the specifications on this later so let me get this out of the box and i'll be right back right so i have got the jolter on front of that out of the box um as i lit as i took out that polystyrene and looked into that box i gasped like oh my god this is a beast i mean this is huge the deck on this thing is massive um you could you could fit nearly two feet on this deck uh either side so you could have foot like four feet basically um it's crazy it's huge um this thing is solid getting out of the box i felt like i was nearly i i, I did it wrong i caught my fingers somewhere as i was pulling it up so i felt like oh my god my fingers gonna give away but this thing weighs about 43 kilos it is built solid really solid and i i actually said to myself out loud like i can't believe i actually own this now and it's in my living room i was i'm so happy to have this here um this thing is so solid so um what i've done first of all is taking the little bracket here i've put the two screws in which you have to put in there and this is where the handlebar system will eventually when you if you want to fold it down will fold down and lock into here which i'll show you um what we've got over here is i haven't put on my new mechanism yet on here for the purpose of just this video i've just made this this is just loose at the moment so i can undo it easily um but this is where you'll basically lock your folding mechanism as you can see it comes with a single one which i'm sure is solid and sturdy and it isn't going to give way but it's it's i think it's going to give you play which is what people say gives you a little bit of play still and with that double one that i've got which i haven't fitted yet uh, this is going to make it absolutely solid apparently apparently there's no movement in it after you've got that on whatsoever so yeah i'm going to fit that on afterwards another time um so for the purpose of this let's um show you so what you do is with this mechanism you once it's undone you lift it up and this just doesn't this doesn't just fall down this bar it's really really solid and stiff which is nice because it's not it doesn't mean you just lift that up and it just flops down you're not going to break anything by accident on your scooter you're not going to scratch anything or scuff anything up so let me show you this mechanism so if i lift that up you can see now there's a lot of it's a nice stiff stem here basically so your your folding bar isn't just going to fall down and smash something now what you've also got on here which is really clever what they've done is they've put on the back of the steering bit they've put this which is on a hinge basically so this which locks into that clip basically folds outwards and before i show you that as well also you'll notice there's a little hook here which is a bag holder which is excellent because yeah I, I, it's good it's just somewhere to hang something basically which is good so you fold this out bring this down and that will lock into here basically so if we come around here to a better position that locks in so it clips in basically so that's clipped in so now you're folded and ready to go if you want to get it into a car simple so let's unclip that for now okay put this back up lock that back in so we've got a um stand here just a standard foot stand still it's not it's still probably not as long as i'd want it to but you know you can you can buy additional stands afterwards as well but it does the job um it's not going anywhere it's not as low down as some other scooters i've ridden where you put the stand the stands really small um they've, they've put so much detail into this still got little bits of polystyrene everywhere they put so much detail into this as well and they've, they've really put some love into the effort into making these um so I'm going to go around the scooter as well. And we're going to go around specifications in a little bit. I'm going to talk about it a bit more. But let's just show you this scooter. One thing I'm really looking forward to is testing out the brakes on this. Because they've got some very good brakes on this. And the suspension looks absolutely solid. So up here, we're going to go through the specs later. We've got all this controller mechanism. You've got your controller up here. Uh, you've got your throttle, which I've never used this throttle before. So I'm looking forward to that. Seeing what that's like. It's going to take some getting used to. Nice rubber grips. 
um, hold, I'll show you the handlebars in a minute. Really clever little system there. Um, you've got the hazard light button, you've got your single or dual motor, and obviously you've got your braking system up top for your nut brakes. So what they've done with the handlebars is, you've got this one clasp here, so you unfold that. Again, I've done it loose for the video. And what you've got is, you've got this other clasp. This is on a spring, so these actually spring inwards. So if I hold this now pull, it lets you then fold the handlebars. So this basically goes over the handlebar. So as I fold that, the user can then push the handlebar down, fold my way, which is really clever. So a lot more compact, especially when you get in from home, into home and you want to just get a bit more space. You know, someone like me who's got a porch and I've got to fit two scooters in there. This is handy to do that because you want two handlebars sticking out and one hitting the wall and one hitting you as you come in the house. So that's good. So, um, yeah, really nice little system there. Again, let's show you see the springs going back in. Okay. Draw that back over. Taste again used to a one hand though. I shouldn't be used to doing one hand really. There we go. Okay. And I'll do this a lot tighter later on. Okay, so we're gonna get into more about the specs in a bit. Um, I'm gonna go through everything on the scooter, all the specs, I'm gonna show the lighting system on it, show the controller, and uh, yeah, talk a bit, bit more about it in a minute. Okay, so I've just got myself a bit more accustomed to what the scooter has on it, some of its functions and that. Not too much, because I haven't ridden it yet, um, but I've just got had a quick look at the buttons and stuff. So let's go through some of the specifications. Um, so we've got, first of all, dual hub motors. So you've got the maximum of 5,400 watts. Now these are really powerful motors. Um, you've got a back motor there, and we've got our front motor there. Come around the other side as well. Um, these are very, very powerful. And this is going to take you up to a very fast speed. Um, underneath this deck, we've, which is absolutely huge by the way, absolutely massive. And I've had a quick stand on this a minute ago and it feels very well balanced as well, this scooter. Uh, we're looking at the battery underneath the deck, which is 35 amps and that's an LG battery. Now 35 amp is a very big battery. Obviously it's got to carry a bit more weight. Um, uh, not just me, but the actual scooter itself is, is heavy. Um, but that much ampage I'm expecting to get at least on the top speed which I'll be probably going to have 40 miles per hour out of what it can do I'm going to get at least around 40 miles I believe um, more tests to come and more videos to come in the future on that though um, so this the voltage is 60 volt um, so yeah so the max mileage they actually specify on this scooter is 120 kilometers uh, 120 kilometers um, now that's based on someone being 75 kilograms and going at 25 kilometers kilometers an hour which just generally you know that's that's going to be the average average you might get but that's top end and these are always these to me they're always overblown these uh values they give someone my weight who's around on about 94 kilos uh, like I said, I reckon on the highest mode, um, somewhere between 40 and 45 miles. But we'll see. I'm going to do lots of different tests in different speed modes, and so there'll be more videos to come from that. Um, so the maximum speed is it's supposed to be around 50 miles per hour plus. Some people have had something like 53 miles out of these. Others have had, yeah, 50 miles per hour, which is extremely fast. Um, again, I don't recommend anyone going really at 50 miles per hour, um, unless you know what you're doing, and especially not in public areas. Just be, just be careful, be safe. Um, I'm probably going to go no more than about 40 miles per hour most of the time because that's what I did on my last scooter. Um, maximum load it takes is 120 kilograms. Uh, so, yep, yeah, so it's good for the heavier rider. Uh, it's gradient, or it's, what well, I say, it's gradability is 35 degrees. So you're looking at 35 degree, which is pre pretty good. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's more than most roads are going to have, for, you know, for cars and stuff, a lot, um, a lot, a lot steeper than you're gonna to need to go. Um, I've seen people do some really silly tests on this scooter and it goes up some really extraordinary um, inclines. So you're gonna have no problems on the normal roads. Um, we've also got ABS braking on this. Some people have said it's good. Other people have said it's, it's you know, it's, it's, it's still good, but it can be very, very um, sharp, very, 
very quick at breaking which you know is, is good but when you're on something like this where you're standing up and it's smaller wheels i mean it's big wheels for a scooter but abs it can be quite um it can it can come on quite fast so it's, i think it's a learning curve maybe i'm going to try it out and test it and see what i think if some people get on with it some people don't get on with it um we've got hydraulic braking system now a lot of scooters out there have zoom brakes on which i really just i just don't like um I've had bad experience with them in the past um but this one has got nut brake system on it and they're supposed to be very very good quality um so you've got a full hydraulic system on this scooter um so i'm going to show you on this front wheel as well and at the top here okay so yeah, I'm looking forward to trying those out. Um, they look incredible. I've seen lots of videos on it and people seem to be really happy with this braking system. So charging times, um, again, because it's got such a big battery, with a single charger, you're looking at about 20 hours plus, um, say around 20 hour mark. Um, like I said, I've got a second charger on the way so I can charge this faster. And that's when you're looking at about 10 hours, around the 10 hour mark. Um, you can also get a fast charger, which brings it down to 5.3 hours, roughly, 5.5 hours. And you can also then plug in a fast charger with a standard charger, and that's going to bring it down to around just over 4 hours. Um, I'm going to stick with just the two standard chargers for now. Um, I'm not really... I don't need to charge it up that quick. It gives, it gives a heck of a distance already. So it's not as if I need to charge up really fast in a, in a hurry. Um, so, yeah, we've got shown the handlebars earlier so this is the folding handlebar system as you saw earlier i showed you how that mechanism worked so yeah that's really cool mechanism something that a lot of people do upgrade on their other scooters that don't have folding handlebars so i'm glad that this one actually comes with it because it'll save me a lot more space when i get it in the house um so frame and handle it's aviation aluminium and uh, that's 6082 t6 alloy so very very strong material i've been told before i bought this um and i've looked at a lot of things online about this and Everyone says they're built like tanks, so I don't expect any problems with this whatsoever from the riding style I, I have, because um, I look after my stuff anyway, but I will be taking it on and off-road. It has got the on-road tyres at the moment, um, but I will be able to do some mild off-roading on this, um, as I did on my last one. Um, the suspension on it is supposed to be incredible. Um, again, you have got different levels of suspension. You can adjust these as well. Um, the one that comes with, I believe, is something like a, I don't know if it's a medium or, or like a medium hardness suspension. Um, I haven't tested it out yet, but what you have is you can actually change it out. I believe it's in here where this nut is there. So once you take this out, it's sort of like a rectangular sort of rubber based system inside. I can't remember what they call it, but you can basically, they're, they're interchangeable. So you can change out the suspension in this. Um, you have to buy them obviously separately. They don't come with the extra suspension, the, like the adjustable suspension things. A bit of polystyrene there. Um, so they don't come with them, but you can buy them. I think they're around £45, £50. Um, but we'll see what I need. I mean, if I'm on roads, I'm not going to want it too bouncy. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens with that. So I'll be testing that out. So tyres. So we've got 11 inch tubeless tyres. Now these are wide, these are four inches wide, these are huge, um, which is really good because I, I think I'm going to feel very secure and stable on the roads with this. So you've got 11 inch by four inch tyres, they are really nice tyres, nice tread on them. Um, they're meant for obviously for on roads, um, but you will get, you will, you'll be able to get some off road on them, you know, just down the standard dirt tracks and that. Um, I don't know how well they handle on grass though, to be honest, my last one was just a bit all over the place if you start to turn on grass, so again, I'll do a little test on that. Um, and you've got this lovely mud guard here, which isn't going anywhere. Absolutely rock hard, solid. Um, you see they've got the dual Tron logo on there, the D. Comes to the back as well. Again, nice solid mud guard, which is attached from the back here. You've got your, let's fold, push this up a bit. So you've got again your 11 inch wheels by four inch. Very, very strong, very, very strong wheel. And that's what I like in a, I've, I've, I've wanted a larger tyre for a while that was wider. Um, so yeah, looking forward to trying that out. So again, the, for, for the most, for most people, um, 43 kilograms is going to be quite heavy. 
Um, a lot of people out there aren't going to mind it, but people who want to take these for, you know, this isn't a commuter vehicle. This is, this is a, a hobby vehicle. This is something that you can, you can use to go back and forth to work if you don't have to get on trains and buses and stuff. But if you start to get on trains with things like this, it's just, it's not going to be very friendly to, to be able to get this on and off a train. Um, if you do, you're going to have to stand with it. Um, you won't be able to take this down the aisles with you. It's just going to be too too bulky, too heavy. Um, it'll be all right once in a while, but it's not something you could take on a daily commute on trains and stuff. But I'll be using it for back and forth to work and going out to just random places, basically, going on adventures and journeys. So I'm going to come up to the Smart Eye, which is there, and you've got this, this. This is one of their, I believe this is their newer um system on here so if i hold down the power button i'm going to go through this in a separate video on another day to explain all of the specs on this and the, the different options within the menu but this is your this is where your throttle is here so you've got your throttle up top here um you've got this nice i don't know if you can see this very well on here you've got this there we go you've got this nice bright green display so you can see it very very well so i'm looking for, yeah i'm looking forward to seeing what that looks like in the dark as well because it's really bright in the daytime um, so yeah, it's going to show you your speed and your distance <coughs> Excuse me It's going to show you your battery percentage But I'm going to go into another separate video on all of the different details behind this um, in, a, in another video basically I'll go through all the specs on it and all the different modes in the menu options Okay, so the exciting part that people like to look at um, Lighting, I, uh, perhaps some people hate lighting, some people love lighting I'm one of the people who's... I, I, I've got a bit more into lighting now. Um, I'm not going to use it all the time, but I think when we go on to events and stuff and big rides, it'll be nice to have lighting and stuff. It'll just be fun for group events. Um, and I've seen it and it looks really nice. So you've got this quad lighting on here, basically. So if I come around here to the sides, <clears throat> what you've got is you've got a button on the side here, independent of above on the motor, on the eye controller, where you turn this on and that turns all your lighting system on. So you can have that off or on from this button, basically. So what you do, you get this really bright blue light below the deck that shoots down onto the ground, which is really cool. You move this forward a bit. And then you've got this quad lighting system on the back. So you've got, on, sorry, you've got this quad lighting system. So you've got your left light and your back right light. And then you've got your front left very very bright um, you got your two two lights on the front here bright whites very bright no one's gonna miss you on this at all and you've got a hazard light on here so you've got your hazard button see here that you've got hazards on which is very cool very 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 bright so if you pull over at the side of the road or on a cycle path and you and it's dark want people to see you even more then you can do that so yeah there's a lot of lighting options on this and that brings me to the controller so you've got this controller so if I point the controller here now at the front so now you've got this Dualtron logo here that lights up and you've got the handlebar system here this is really, really cool. Come around the other side. So this has a couple of different patterns. I think there's different settings. That I think you can do your do-it-yourself sort of setup. <coughs> but let's put it on. So we've got, um, you've got the fade mode, which is on now. And you've got flash as well. Have it flashing. Fade. If I press the right button, <laughs> bear with me, getting used to this still. Um, and then you've got all different vari variations of color. So have it set to red, green, blue. My favorite is gonna be the orange colors. I love that color. So I'm an orange man, so I'm gonna be using orange for mine. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to modify this in the future as well to put some orange accents on it. But yeah, this is it's just a nice little extra feature, really. Um, you can have this also set to bright white. It says a button on here for white. Just have it set to white. Uh, or you can press the power button. You can have that turned completely off. So it's up to you, you know. 
people who don't like the lighting system, they don't have to use it. That is pretty much most of the specifications. Um, I, I'm going to have to go into... I'll go in depth more on separate things in separate videos. So I will go and, like I said, I will go into the um, the the eye, the smart eye system, which is the throttle and controller there. That throttle system, I'll go into an, on another on another uh, video. I will show you more details on that about the menu and what's hidden away behind the scenes, and also what's on the screen and what you can change on there. Um, I will show you some speed tests. I will show you some hill tests, hill climb tests. I'll be showing you distance tests as well because I think that's important because a lot of people will know about how much distance they'll get out of a scooter. Like I said, I think going in top mode here at the fastest mode with the dual motors, I reckon I'll get at least 40 miles out of this. I'm confident on that, very confident on that. Um, and I think you'll get a lot more in mode two. But again, we're going to go through that more. Um, going to go through more about my thoughts after I've done my first ride on this. I'm going to take this out for a ride when I'm feeling a little bit better, because I haven't been very well the last week. Um, so once I get this out on the road, I'll be doing a lot more tests on it, and I can give you a lot more feedback. But from what I can feel so far and I've seen, this just looks, it feels and looks incredible. Um, I'm still a bit sort of shocked that I have I own this scooter now. Um, I'm really pleased, I'm really happy. Um, like if you'd asked me last year, I wouldn't have thought I would have owned one of these, but I I do now, and I'm very happy I've made the move to it, and I'm looking forward to testing this out. Um, so if you want any questions from me at all, or anything you think you want me to include in any separate videos, then let me know, because I'm happy to make more videos on this, and I'll give you more feedback. Um, obviously, check out my Facebook group, the Electric Scooter Club, on Facebook, and uh, hit me up there, and you can ask me any comments you got about the scooter. Um, and yeah, I'll just keep feeding back my my thoughts on it, and my hopefully I have a some sort of review after so many miles on this as well. I will do. I'll keep I'll keep you updated on my thoughts on it. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Give this a thumbs up, and like I said, any questions just comment below or go to my Facebook group. And uh, remember, check out the Electric Scooter Co. And I'll put the link in the description. Really great guys, great service. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting in contact with them more to tell them my thoughts on this as well. Cool. Cheers for watching, guys. Bye.